This portion of the news brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. Nothing says morning like Dunkin' Donuts. We're not the only ones suffering through this nor'easter. The storm dumped up to two feet of snow in other parts of the northeast, shutting down schools and businesses all along the eastern seaboard. The Carolinas were among the hardest hit states. Residents there were surprised by pilots with more than 20 inches. The nation's capital came to a virtual standstill. Many federal workers who braved the icy commute were sent back home. Congress canceled sessions and even the Supreme Court closed up early. People trying to get in and out of Boston's Logan Airport also hit with major cancellations. It was pretty gnarly out there. Yeah, you know, not only that, it was snowing. <laughs> snowing is just kind of grim and, and ugly and harsh. We were lucky. Actually, believe it or not, we went to freezing rain and sleet, Washington close to a foot, Baltimore close to a foot, both airports close, Philly close to a foot. That's the corridor. But here in the Midtown area, the last time we had six inches of snowfall was February the 18th, 1996. We have to go back four years. And before it's all said and done, we're going to add a couple of inches tonight, and I think we'll go up and over the six. It's a pretty sight. The snow is falling in Times Square. It's 26. Humidity is 96. The winds are gusting at 27. And we have light snow, and we have fog in around the tri-state area, and it's tricky out there. We're going to flip numbers, everybody, and show you the normal should be 37, normal low, 25. The record is 60. The record low is 2. And it was on this date, 1909, the city had 10 inches of snow. This storm just once again continues to give us a cold punch of air. So whatever falls sticks. Right now, 27, 28 degrees in Islip. You're in the snow. Bridgeport, you've got snow. White Plains, you've got snow. Poughkeepsie, it's spreading once again in your direction. For tonight, cold enough for snow. And for tomorrow, this snowfall will taper off by 3, 4 a.m. Temperatures tomorrow, again, below freezing. Everybody, all water goes frozen. Here is the storm itself. You can see it winding up across the Delmarva. It's got one more shot to it. And let's take a look at the radar and you'll be able to see it. The storm heading up again from the south to the north. Watch that last batch right there, right across the tri-state area. One more batch is going to pinwheel around and clock us at about 1, 2 a.m. and add an additional inch to perhaps 3. Here's the storm creeping and crawling across the Delmarva. It will kick out of here in the next five, six hours. And ski country, you're going to have a party starting tomorrow with close to 18 inches up and over the hills of New Hampshire and Vermont. So the storm leaves, dry air gets in here tomorrow. A couple of flurries around, but up and down the eastern seaboard of the United States stays cold. Back to Chicago, you'll top out at 21 degrees. When it's all said and done, four to eight inches will fall tri-state, three to six Suffolk County. Who do you know north and west? Close to 10 inches of snow in Rockland, Westchester, Putnam, that's the idea. We go to flurries after 4 a.m. Mark it down, Kydia. 10 after 4. We go to flurries, 23 to 28 degrees. And looking ahead to tomorrow, slate gray skies, maybe a flake, 30 to 35. Here's your five-day forecast. It's over with. Now, I, that symbol you see, that's just flurries. See them big flakes flying around? Don't be upset. That's, that's just flurries on Wednesday, okay? Really? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. It looks much worse. I, Giant flurries. I hit the wrong button on the machine. Oh, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to keep it dry. And the weekend right now looks pretty good. My friends,